Hi everyone on YouTube, look what I did. I've made a custom made Trackmaster 2 British Railways livery Flying Scotsman. I did exactly what our Flying Scotsman looked like. And I've worked so hard to paint on him as I could. And he looks handsome, doesn't he? And now he looks exactly like the Flying Sc Scotsman in our world, even though that Flying Scotsman does doesn't have a face, but anyways, let's get on to the details on the model himself. First off, let's start with the Flying Scotsman without his tender itself. Now this is, as you guys may remember, the Trackmaster 2 Flying Scotsman, which I got for Christmas last year, and I did say I might have uses for this Flying Scotsman model, and my idea was to paint this in the British Railways Flying Scotsman, since I know the Flying Scotsman in our world looks exactly like this, but without the face, which you guys already know what I mean. Now then, as you can see, I have painted the front buffers silver and the front coupling black. I've also repainted the uh, running boards black and I've painted the wheels black and I've made and I've painted the cab and the back black and I've also repainted the windows on both sides and I've also painted the front windows. I've painted his whole body dark green and I've also gave him orange stripes and I've also painted the hand railings silver and I've also printed off the name plates and, and cut them and stuck them on both sides of the Flying Scotsman and I've also done the same with the numbers on both sides no longer 4472 it's 60103 which you guys remember correctly and I've also painted the uh, repainted the hand railings on both sides of the cab windows also so what do you think he looks really amazing doesn't he now let's let's get on to the details with the tender also i've also now this wheel these wheels came from a uh, spur trackmaster 2 james and i decided to use that for the front of the tender and i've also painted an extra flying scotsman's tender wheels black at the back or also just to give it some taste so yeah as you can see I've painted the whole tender dark green I've repainted the uh, bottom sides black and I've also painted the uh, stripes on both sides orange and black even though it would have been better if if I gave the Flying Scotsman black and orange stripes and not just orange. But I I like him how he is. But let's get back to the tender. Like I said, the stripes on the tender are pretty decent and glossy. I like that. And I've also printed off the British Railways logos, logos and cut them and printed them. And I've also cut them and stick them on both sides. If I can show you. I've also printed off the same photos. Which the image of the uh, internet was from. As you can see. This, the logo was, the logos were from this image. 
So, as you probably guessed by now, I've copied and pasted the, the image, went on MS Paint, copied and pe pasted the British Railways logo on that other side, saved it, printed it, cut it, and stuck it on both sides. Genius idea, isn't it? Looks like I'm using blueprints of the Flying Scotsman, aren't I? There was an extra, there's an extra one by the way. I also cut off this one off, but that one was too big, so I got rid of it. So, for now, I just want to keep them for display before I change my mind to get rid of them. You might never know, I might get rid of them someday. Anyways, I've also painted the back of his tender green with a black with a black doorway and silver back buffers on the tender and I've also painted the lamp white with a red dot. And anyways, let's give the Flying Scotsman back on service a test run. Today, okay, we're at Knapford Station and the Flying Scotsman is pulling the express for Gordon. So let's give him a run. Sorry, he is running a bit slow since Trackmaster 2 trains aren't, aren't designed to run on Tomy tracks, but I'm just going to do you guys a favour and put him on the track that leads to the Action Canyon just to make things quick on this video because I want to get it done right now. So I apologise for the delay. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about this really. I'm really happy for the detailings I've done on the Flying Scotsman by painting him in British Railways green. Now, some of you may notice already during the test run. You've noticed that I've also got a picture of the British Railways Flying Scotsman. Now you guys might see the difference. No face? Yes face. And he doesn't even have a lamp, whereas if our Flying Scotsman does. So yeah, I'm guessing you guys might already know the difference by now. So yeah, I'm very happy that I've completed off the Flying Scotsman. Can't wait to finish off any projects after this. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video and see you soon. Take care. Bye bye for now.